What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do early grabs. Check it out. The risk level for this trick is low. And the difficulty level for this trick is easy. Early grabs started back in the 70s before people started skating vert ramps and doing ollies in transitions. They were pioneered by Tony Alva as the main way to keep your board to your feet while doing airs and pulls over the coping. Learning early grabs are a great way to understand the lines you should take to begin late grabs and ollie airs. They also teach you commitment to proper body position and timing while you're in the air. You also start to learn how to land into your pump back down the transition. There's an important relationship between speed and the line you take in and out of your airs to execute your best early grabs. My guest skater for this episode is Benny Snyder, who's one of my advanced students and close friends. For this lesson, it helps if you can skate comfortably. Drop in. Pump in transitions. Car front side and back side. Skate a mini ramp. And skate a bowl. If you don't know how to do any of these, please refer back to my other videos so you can catch up. Here are the things you guys should do. Start small and stay tucked while grabbing. While learning, wear a helmet since there is a higher risk of hanging up. Also wear knee pads while learning as it's hard to run out while you're tucked down into your grab. It helps to wear old shoes and duct tape your laces so they don't snap from your knee slides. And make sure to loosen your trucks so you can carve easier. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. While learning this, don't pull off your early grab until you are almost at the apex, which is the high point of your carve, or if your front wheels are about to go over the coping. Don't start learning early grabs with a straight up and down 180 until you can learn them by carving first. Don't give up, keep trying them, and adjust your line just a little bit each time so you can experiment with your timing, your speed, and your foot setup. Here are the simple steps for learning this on a street. That also means going off of launches, doing your early grabs while going straight, over a pyramid, or off a bank ramp. To learn front side early grabs, start with a small push and set your feet into riding position. From riding position, wiggle your front foot up so the edge of your front foot is just up against your front bolts. Make sure to keep your heels and toes matching. While rolling, bend down and use your back hand to grab in the middle of your skateboard. If this feels uncomfortable or you're extra tall, you can also bend your back knee in to get easier leverage and this will add additional style. While staying bent down, quickly hop without letting go of your board and yank your board off the ground your goal is to pull your board tight to your feet so it stays with you even if your wheels barely lift off the ground. This is a great way to learn how to pull the board to your feet so you stay together with your skateboard while you're in the air. Now try doing these off of a curb or a small launch ramp. You can also learn these over a flat pyramid hip, a quarter to bank, or a small quarter pipe hip at the skate park before you try them on straight or curved quarter pipes. For backside early grabs on the street, push off and set your feet back in that riding position. Now use your front hand to grab behind your front heel. While tucked, give it a hop and pull that board with your front hand super tight to your feet. And as you get better at this, try to click off of your tail. Here are the simple steps for early grabs both ways in transition. We will start with backside early grabs first as they are easier to bail into a knee slide while learning. Start with a tighter backside carve to kick turn, going medium speed just under the coping on a larger quarter pipe that you feel comfortable with. Please pay attention to the timing of when you kick turn out of your carve. As you are riding up, bend down to grab your board behind the heel of your front foot 
Now the point where you would kick turn is when you should be tucked into your early grab and hop into your turn. Now hop and yank your board off of the ramp, focus on your timing of when to hop and stay leaning into the ramp. Pull that board tight to your feet and stay leaned in towards the bottom of the ramp. Twist your shoulders in a slight kick turn motion so you begin to turn in the air and continue your natural rotation so your wheels can land going back down the ramp. Now let go of your grab and stay leaned in more over your front foot and extend your legs down so that when your wheels touch, your knees are still slightly bent and your body is crouched down. Now begin to stand up in the riding position as you pump out of the transition. As you guys build more confidence, enter with more speed. And the higher you ride up the transition, allows the ramp to do more of the work so you don't have to pull off the ramp so hard. Now push yourself as hard as you can to get over that coping, but make sure to hold fast and clear the coping coming back down the ramp. Here's how to bail. If you are in the air grabbing backside, you can pull the board out from under your feet and throw your board out to the side and run out or knee slide out. If you guys get sketchy while riding up or out of your backside air, lean into your knee slide back down the transition, or you can lean to your backside and slide back down the ramp, if padless. For frontside early grabs, we're gonna start smaller and slower so you guys can build confidence. That way you can follow along from the speed that you feel comfortable with. For additional confidence, start practicing your early grab with a wider, more mellow, rainbow shaped carve on a long straight quarter pipe. Otherwise, do a frontside carve into a kick turn under the coping and be sure to follow that rainbow shape when you begin your carve. Now recognize when you are pumping up and when you begin pumping down. In between your pumps is when you should be tucked in your early grab and slightly turning. So make sure to be bent down and holding your grab tight before that time. Your speed and angle of your carve determines your grab time. So going faster usually feels a bit more comfortable and requires less effort to pull off the ramp. Now have enough speed so you can bend down and grab your board near the top of your carve and let go as you ride down that transition. Here are the simple steps for frontside early grabs. Ride towards the ramp at medium speed with your feet set up in riding position. Remember to keep the edge of your front foot up against those front bolts for a little wider stance and extra balance, keeping your heels and toes matching. As you are riding up the ramp about halfway to the top of your carve, begin to tuck down and let your knees ride up underneath your body so you can grab the middle of your board with your back hand. As your front wheels get to the coping, lean back and into your yank off of that ramp. As you pull your early grab, stay leaned into the ramp and watch the coping. Follow your rainbow path and dip your head and body into your lead shoulder. The steeper the transition is the more you're going to have to lean into that lead shoulder. As you guys clear your back wheels, let go of your grab and extend your legs down into your pump out. Here's how to bail for frontside grabs. If you think you're gonna hang up, pull your skateboard out with your grab hand, continue your rotation and into your knee slide. For padless, if you think you're gonna hang up, pull your skateboard out and try to run it out or stumble and slide to your back. Here are some of my extra thoughts on early grabs. As you get better with your grabs, experiment with tighter rainbow shaped carves in and out of your grabs. The skate term for this lesson is alley-oop. This is when you carve in one direction, but spin or turn in the opposite way. For example, carving frontside, but turning your board and your body in backside kick turn direction. Here are some extra trick tips for early grabs. I always recommend learning your early grabs going faster than slower, so you don't have to pull so hard to come off of the ramp. Also, learning these on larger transitions give you extra time for your grab and rotation. Now that doesn't mean you have to go to the top of the big transitions. You can still learn them only going halfway or lower, but bigger transitions give you that extra time. So give it a try. Once you get better at your early grabs, practice them grabbing as late as you can just before you go over the coping. This will lead you into learning late grabs where you can bonk off and over the coping or ollie up and into your late grab. Also with your early grabs, you can learn to click off of the tail so it feels like an early grab ollie blend but if you don't click off the tail, that's okay. Keep trying them anyway. What's up, I'm Benny Snyder, and my guest tip to early grabs is pulling your board 
away from the coping so that you don't hang up and crip and fall and die. Here is my related tricks for early grabs. For beginner, try frontside and backside grabs to fakie. And early grabs over hips. For intermediate, try alley-oop backside early grabs. Early grab roll-ins frontside and backside and a frontside boneless. For advanced, try frontside alley-oop lean grabs, which are frontside alley-oop backside grab. Early grabs to disaster. Early grabs to Smith. And early grab to lip trick combinations. Please help us grow this channel. Share this video with some friends who would benefit from it, and they'll be sure to appreciate you for thinking of them. Thanks again for watching another edition of Skate Park Lessons. I hope you guys learned these tricks and got a better understanding of how to do them. Please like my video, share my video, and subscribe for more of your favorite skate park lessons.